Before we get started in this video, if you guys have not followed me on the Twitter or the Instagram, go ahead and do that, please. It would mean a lot to me, and uh, it'll be very important in the future. I've been advertising in a couple of videos here and there. I haven't done it in a while, so um, make sure you go do that if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys have been thinking about what I've been putting out lately, if you guys are enjoying it, or if anything needs to change. In the end, this is all for you guys, and uh, you guys are the voice of reason. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section if anything you know could be better you know, constructive criticism in a way because I value guys' opinion. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy. This was a little bit of a report that the Kings offered Darren Fox for Kyrie Irving, so I'm going to go ahead and make it happen today in a 2018 Sacramento Kings rebuild with Kyrie Irving. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. YouTube and welcome back to another 2018 rebuild and today we're going to be doing kind of a scenario inside this rebuild as I've been doing that lately. There was a report saying that the Kings uh, reportedly offered Darren Fox for Kyrie Irving. Now this would be interesting man. Uh, the Cavs would be getting a nice young point guard and uh, he wouldn't cost a lot of money and the Kings would be getting a nice uh, point guard that's like locked up until 2019 for uh, Darren Fox. I mean Darren Fox has a lot of potential and you know this is not gonna be much of a risky uh, trade for the Kings yes they're getting rid of a young talent Darren Fox which I feel like it's a perfect story for him being in Sacramento right now but you are getting Kyrie Irving which has proven obviously that he is a, a good player so I'm gonna go ahead and make this trade go through uh, my reason behind this uh, the King are the Cavs get a couple first round picks they get one year expiring deals and they get to dump Iman Shumpert, Shumpert's contract well, I guess it's only a one-year deal as well. I didn't really notice that. Maybe instead they get to maybe they dump J.R. Smith's contract with it or something like that. Because uh, you know the Cavs need a salary dump, so um, I feel like this is the best thing they could probably do. Uh, salary dump, get rid of Kyrie Irving, get Darren Fox, and get a couple one-year deals and some first-round picks. So I feel like it's good for both sides. And uh, obviously it's going to be a decline. But this is the only trade in this video that I'm going to override. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right now. Um, trade override off. And I also had financial trade rules off because I couldn't get it. Um, or I had it on. Or I had it off. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Tra tra okay, so after making that move, we got Kyrie Irving on the Sacramento Kings and George Hill. So this offseason, the Kings kind of went out. went. Uh, you know, they did pretty good. Uh, everyone's saying they had a good offseason. But... What confused me about the Kings, they got George Hill, they had De'Aaron Fox, they signed George Hill with it, um, they just have a lot of, like, is Vince Carter gonna come off the bench, or, you know what I mean, is Justin Jackson gonna start, like, just stuff like that, but it's gonna be easily be fixed, so, um, my thinking is that you start George Hill as shooting guard, and, uh, have Vince Carter come off the bench, that's what my thinking is, and move Buddy Heald to, uh, small forward, so that's what I'm gonna do anyway, for the start of this video, so I'm gonna move Buddy Hill to small forward. I'm gonna move uh, George Hill to shooting guard, and then bam, that's what it's gonna be like. And then our uh, starting five shouldn't be too bad. Willie Collins, Stein, Bon Bonaventure, J.R. Smith, Vince Carter, all coming off the bench. So great stuff. Oh, I guess we got Justin Jackson and Harry Giles down here too. Another yet nice young players down here, and Frank Mason. So the Kings definitely have some young talent down here. Um, is there any crazy contracts we need to get rid of first and foremost, though? I mean, Kyrie Irving's not on that bad of a contract. Uh, George Hill, you know, his contract isn't terrible. I'll keep him for this season, but I don't know um, any more after that. Boyan Badanovich is on a pretty crappy contract. Uh, Ima Shumper is a player option. You know, I think I'm going to simulate through. Uh, let it be for right now. I'm going to let it just sit here. I'm not going to make any moves right now. I'm going to simulate to the end of this season. And then uh, probably get rid of these contracts in the offseason. And let's see if we can make playoffs with the addition of Kyrie Irving. At the end of the season, we do not make the playoffs here in the first season. That's okay because we have a whole offseason to get better at Kyrie Irving with 24 points per game. Zach Randolph with uh, 16.7. So that's definitely an argument why I should keep this guy. 13 rebounds. That's not, that's not bad at all. George Hill, 14.5. Buddy Hill with 12. 12.5 uh, pretty much. We'll call it, or Scala Bissier with 10. And we'll call it with 9. Boyan Donovich, 9. J.R. Smith, 7. Frank Mason, 7. Actually got some minutes in there. Um, cool. So, just got to let it be. Um, we didn't make the playoffs at all. So, let's go ahead and simulate this off or this these playoffs. Wow, the Pelicans just made the Warriors blow a 3-0 lead. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Cleveland wins the championship with um, 
Uh, Darren Fox, so cool for them. All right, so gonna go in this off season, and uh, let's try to get better this off. Let's try to improve by a lot. We got rid of the Pelicans pick, which wouldn't have been too great anyway, because looks like they made the play. I don't know why I just clicked on this. They made the playoffs, so I don't really need to worry about it. head coach. Gonna get Steve Kerr because why not? His negotiation trades the best. Um, NBA draft. Let's go here and let's start dumping some of these contracts because some of these contracts are not good. All right, so. Let me turn trades back on uh, first to make sure that can happen. And let's find uh, a suitable guy for George Hill because I just don't... Okay, see, that's not bad contract. Oh, I saw my only offer too. Um, probably going to take this to be honest because those are cheap contracts and uh, decent small forwards. Um, can move Buddy Heald back to shooting guard probably, um, which I wouldn't mind doing at all. Probably going to do that right now actually. Let's move Buddy Heald back to shooting guard. And he stays the same, so not really too worried about that. All right, so um, what what other contracts should we get rid of? Uh, Donovich and J.R. Smith are the other contracts we can get rid of. So, um, whoops, not Marcus Morris. I might get rid of him eventually because I don't know if I want him on this team. But not going to get rid of him right now. Hernan Gomez, Jordan Clarkson, Terrence Ross, Digi Berea, one-year deals right there. Uh, we could dump both their contracts for, for some first-rounders. Might do that. Tyson Chandler. Um, or just get the... No, we already have good centers. I think I'm going to just dump their contracts. I'm going to send them to the Nuggets. Jar Smith, you can go back to the Nuggets. Where you used to play with AI and Carmelo. Okay, what other... Con uh, we have Zerk Randall's contract, which I'm not too worried about right now. Because he's actually did really decent for us. So, um, let's go to these player options and qualifying off... Oh, I skipped over player options. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I skipped over it. Ah, uh, that sucks. My free agents don't have any. Well, looks like so. I'm guessing everybody came back pretty much. Yep, that's fine. Okay. What's our money looking like now? 16 million in cap space. So, took a lot of our money away. I'm probably going to get rid of some of these bottom contracts that I'm really not going to need in the future. Um, hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. This team is lacking in certain places. Let's... Let's trade some of these contracts down here just for the hell of it. Harry, Malachi Richardson, and uh, Troy Brown Jr. Let's get rid of these guys. Um, get Just dump them for some picks, honestly, because maybe I can use all of these picks I'm going to get by dumping these guys in a future trade that could be big. I don't know. What the heck? Okay, I guess Troy Brown's potential is really good. Did we just... Okay, we can get Malcolm Brogdon and Chris Middleton right here. Okay, I'm going to move on from that, though, because we already have Buddy Heald. Uh, small four positions a lock right now. Uh, we could use a big man. I guess surge is fine. Although I do like this deal a lot. Hmm. Should I take this deal? I I don't think so, man. Um, I like the addition of Malcolm Brogdon. I'm gonna take it. And then, uh, let's see what we got now. So, Chris Milton, Malcolm Brogdon, Buddy Healed. So, and then we have a lot of small forwards, obviously. So. We're kind of awkward in this situation. Uh, I wouldn't mind keeping Buddy Hield and Brogdon, and then trading Middleton and power forward. Honestly, we're just a young team, so I'm gonna get rid of Middleton, and then throw in and try to get a big. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Like if Zach Randolph can come off the bench instead and starting this year, I think that's a goal. That should be a nice goal for us to. Um, we can get Darren Fox back. Not gonna do that. Lou Williams and Donnell Gallinari. We can get Kimba. Whoa. Kimba Walker. Andre Drummond. That's perfect right there, actually. Um, might come back to that. CJ McCollum. I'm going to get this Andre Drummond trade because we need a big man. And uh, I like this deal. So we're going to get Andre Drummond here. And um, do we have any money after this? We might have just, like, took all of our money. We got three more, three million in cap space. Let's see. So we got a backup. Or I guess we got Frank Mason. We got two shooting guards. We got two small forwards. Um... Power forward, Zach Randolph and Harry Giles, and then center position is fine. So, um, is this championship caliber? Absolutely freaking not. It is not whatsoever. So, the goal in this series is win a championship. So, that needs to change. I'm going to make a few couple trades here to try to make us, you know, better into a championship contender. This first trade, I'm going to get Allen Williams here for bench depth. I'm going to do this trade and uh, get some bench depth for uh, the bench, obviously. And then I'm going to make some more moves. Probably going to trade... Scala Bissier, Willie Cauley-Stein, or one of the other. I have no idea which one I'm going to trade yet. 
But I'm going to get back to some more trades. Okay, so I made a few moves here and there to free up some cap space. And I'm able to sign Joel Embiid. But the 76ers and uh, Isaiah Thomas already accepted other offers. So I'm kind of banking on this right now. If we can get Joel Embiid or not. Hopefully the 76ers don't match. Please don't match. Day damn it. I've decided to match your offer sheet. Damn it, man. Damn it. Okay. So, um, we basically missed out on a lot of players this uh, offseason, which sucks. Um, I guess there's Lamarck Soldier still, but he wants three more million than I want to give him. Um, when you look at the roster up and down, we have shooting guards and have small forwards. And uh, we need a power forward, pretty much. That's basically what we I was looking for, kind of. I mean, I would have been fine signing someone else. But we need a power forward. Um, we can uh, trade Allen Williams away in order to be able to sign Lamarck Aldridge, and I think that's the move right now because we don't really have anyone else to get, and I think that's the best thing to do right now is to get Lamarck Aldridge and uh, just you know for a chance to win a championship. Oh my God, I just want to dump this contract. I don't want to freaking acquire anyone else. I guess Kyle Kuzma shouldn't take up much money. And then he can be uh, the backup for Lamarck Soldier. I don't mind. Okay. So I think we should be able to sign Lamarck Soldier to a contract now. I'm not going to give you a no trade clause. Uh, he's interested in us. So cool stuff. And he signs. Let's go. Okay. So um, I don't think we can get anyone else out here. No one wants to come for one of those. No. Okay. So I guess that's what the team are going to ro be rolling with. If you guys want to see how I freed up that cap space, I'll go ahead and show you. I traded away, um, whereas Zach Randolph, Marcus Morris, and Willie Colley Stein. It freed up a lot of cap. I got Evan Fournier, and I also got the Magic's pick. So um, that should be valuable. So I might use that as a trade deadline. And then I got Evan Fournier, um, a first rounder. And then, you know, I got Frank Mason, you know, stuff like that. That's basically what happened. But I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline. I think I'm going to use that pick to my advantage. Or should I use it right now? Why not? Well, let's use it right now. Um, I'm going to. Acquire, I'm going to plug, oh, what the hell happened? Oh, no, it's down here. The 20 tiny, okay, so I'm going to, yeah, let's do this. Let's see what we can get. If we can get, like, a good small forward, that's the best case scenario. I thought the Magic's pick was freaking valuable. What the hell is going on? Okay. Um, mm, not really seeing anything. I guess I'll go ahead and just simulate to next season. I mean, I feel like we have, or simulate to the offs, or, to the playoffs, not the damn offseason. I feel like we have a chance. So I'm going to just bank on the players I have right now. And I'll see you guys at the end of next season. All right, so we are in the playoffs. And we are the seventh seed uh, in the playoffs. So uh, I don't know when it went wrong. I mean, it wasn't the best team I've ever rebuilt. But it wasn't the worst either. I mean, this team's not bad. Kyrie Irving definitely stepping it up big time. Um, other than that, a lot of nice um, role players getting stuff done. Um, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah. We are facing the Golden State Warriors in the first round. So, let's see if they've changed it all. Um, they lost Kevin Durant. So, that should help us out just a little bit. But I don't know if that's going to, you know, help us beat them. But let's go ahead and just start simulating and see if we have a chance. So, right away, they're up 1-0. We even it up, though. Okay. So, I feel like this team isn't bad. All right. We even it up again. 3-2. Nope. 3-2 in their favor. Whoops. Okay, what did I just do? All right, I meant Simcast. Nope, I don't want to give minutes to Archie Goodwin because I would rather Kyle Kuzma get those minutes. Let's see what we can do. So we force a game seven here, shall we? Shall we force a game seven here? We, oh, I thought we were going to. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So I guess that's the end of the video, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy and make sure to let me know if you guys are enjoying the content I've been putting out lately. Um, I've been trying really hard, you know, trying to grow for you guys and uh, get better at what I've been doing because, you know, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I just thank you guys so much for continuing to support me every day. But other than that, guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that already. And it's Crushables, and I'm saying peace!